without further ado, I don't want to keep you waiting, but the announcement is we are going to be signing a deal with LS and we're going to be making videos with their tractors. And hopefully this Friday I will be hearing something about uh, when we're going to start getting the tractors. This coming week the tractor has been shipped and it's supposed to be delivered and then the week after that I'm off. So we're hoping to make some videos here soon. It's supposed to have all the attachments other than the root grapple. We'll, we're going to get that later. But yeah, I'm not going to tell you what the tractor is yet because that's a surprise. Well, well, well. You thought I was crazy. You thought I was hearing voices in my head. You thought that this LS tractor deal did not exist. Actually, no one's doubted us at all. Everybody's been really supportive and nice about it. But if you did doubt us, we're going to prove you wrong today. Alright, so LS sent me that land grader, five foot tiller, and a five foot brush hog. Alright, so I went ahead and brought this tractor inside because it's too windy out. But here she is, the MT240E. And of course it's got the backhoe here on the back. And everything looks heavy duty. I've been looking it over and messing around with it in the yard. Some things I like about it, uh, sitting in it, I had plenty of room. And I just like how it's a smaller tractor. It's not near as big as my my uh, XR back there. And uh, what I also like about it is this uh, bucket on it. it. Just seems like it fits the tractor better than the, the bucket on mine. Sometimes it feels like the bucket on mine's too too big. And one of the best features is the rollover protection. I don't have to put it down to get it in the garage door. So that makes it very nice. I can just leave it up all the time. The fuel tank is here in the back, but it's not near as high as I thought it was in the pictures. So that's not going to be a problem either. And of course we got the quick attach front end. So we'll be able to switch out between the bucket and the forks. 
Okay, so up here on the dash, we got our regen start and stop buttons. Uh, cruise control on, and then to increase speed or decrease the speed on the cruise control. PTO, engage button, just like mine, and then uh, throttle there on the side. There's the dash. There's where we can uh, raise and lower the implements. All right, so we got high, high, medium, and low. And then this lever over here is to engage the four-wheel drive. All right, so that's going to be about all the technical jargon you're going to hear from me. My job isn't to tell you about all the details about the tractor. My job is to show you how you can use them at your farm by doing the jobs that we need to get done around here. So I'm going to show you what this tractor can do over the next six months. So I want to thank everyone at OLS for all their hard work. I know there was uh, a lot of kinks that we had to work out to make this happen, but I want to thank all of you for that. I want to thank uh, Ross Tractor Sales, Jody and Charlotte for helping us get the tractor here and the implements and uh, for, for helping us make that happen. And most of all, I want to thank all of you for the views, for the likes, for the sharing, for the comments. Without you, none of this ever would have happened. So thank you for that, and uh, we're going to try to make some really good videos for you coming up. So I hope you enjoyed this video and the little skit I did at the beginning. Just so you know, we weren't lying. We did have a tractor deal. It's finally here. So get ready for some good videos. And until next time, everybody, thanks for watching. <music>